Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to discuss the Capgemini interview questions and this is the part 3. So in the part 1 and part 2, we have discussed a lot of questions on Java 8 and Code Java collections and everything. And in this part, we will discuss the interview questions regarding microservices, SQL and Spring Boot as well. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. It will be very helpful when you are preparing for the Java developer interview. And these are all the real interview questions which are shared by one of our subscriber. Let me just start the video by like discussing the question one by one. So our first question is, do you know what is composite key in terms of databases? So composite key, first of all, I will tell you what is primary key. So primary key is something which is uniquely identified for a uh, column, for a table, sorry. So a composite key is related to that. So composite key is a combination of two or more primary key. So to uniquely identify any uh, database, we use composite key, which is a combination of two or uh, more uh, primary keys. So I will tell you with an example. So suppose we have a student table and in that student table, we have student ID, student roll number, marks, percentage and etc. So instead of creating a single primary key, which is student ID or a single primary key, which is student and uh, roll number, what we do, we create a composite uh, key, which is a combination of two different keys and which are also uniquely for a, each and every student. So we can have student ID and student roll number as a composite key and that will identify uniquely for each and every student. So that is our composite key. Okay, so the composite key is a primary key uh, which is a combination of two or more columns which forms a primary key for a table. So uh, let me just go to the next question and uh, which is now we have now we have a requirement to define a composite key in Hibernate. So how you gonna do that? So in Hibernate, how you gonna define the composite key? So the question can be asked like how in JPA you will define a primary key, sorry, uh, composite key. So there are multiple ways to do that. Uh, you can do that by using some annotations. So I will name some annotations like ID class. This is one annotation. Then we have embedded ID. This is one more annotation. So using this annotation, using these annotation, you can define a, a, a composite key in any of the application. If you have composite key, which is a combination of two different primary key. Okay, so this, this will be our next question. And uh, if I move to the next question, so the next question is, let me just read it out first. Uh, suppose we have to define primary key at id so we can also give different generation type how you want to generate your primary key different strategies how you can generate your primary key you know in that front how we gonna do that what are the different generation strategies so in in this question interviewer is asking about the generation strategies generation strategies of a, a primary key so there are different generation strategies available in the Hibernate. If you talk about Hibernate to generate uh, like uh, any uh, ID. So uh, how you can define like uh, how your uh, primary key will be generated. So uh, you can use some of the like generation type which are auto generation type dot auto generation type dot identity generation type dot sequence or generation type dot uh, table. So what it will do, suppose the strategy is auto. So it will like uh, aut automatically generate the ID, the value for you. You don't need to give the value to yourself. And if you give the ID uh, like uh, generation type uh, sequence, then sequentially it will increase the ID value to create a ID. So I, I will like uh, share an example with you guys. So here is the example. Here is the example where we are uh, creating, sorry. Here we are, we have an example on the uh, like ID, we are having at ID and at generated value and then strategies generation type dot sequence. So sequentially it will increase the 
id and then we we have some other uh, generation strategies as well as i mentioned earlier as well so if you want to automatically create the id you can give this auto and uh, there are others as well like identity and table i won't discuss those uh, in this video otherwise this video will be very long but uh, make sure you you will read about those as well while uh, answering this question you yeah like uh, you will get an idea how to answer this question then i will move to the next question i will select this and our next question is suppose we have interface now uh, we have three child classes as well so i have an interface i and then three child classes c1 c2 c3 now we have one another class the driver class now now in the driver class we want to get the bean of c2 so how we can get that in terms of spring so what code we need to write to get the bean of c2 in the driver class so by these type of question interviewer wants to know that if you understand how this bean and auto wiring of bean and everything works internally and how you can get the bean of any class so there are some annotation which you have to use while creating a bean and while using that bean in the future as well so uh, in that case on the class level there are some stereotype annotations like uh, at uh, controller at service at component as at repository those you need to use while uh, on the class level on the class c1 c2 and c3 and whenever uh, uh, like in whichever class you want to use that bean for example like in this example you are using that bean in driver class in that you have to create the instance of uh, uh, c2 because you want to have bean of c2 so you will create an instance of c2 and then use auto wired annotation with that so auto wired annotation what it will do it will automatically find the bean so find the bean from the spring container so these stereotype annotation will create a bean for you and then with the help of auto wired you will find the bean from the spring container now let's move to the next question okay so i will uh, deselect this and go to the next question which is how we can use uh, how we can use interface name here to get the bean okay so it is the uh, subsequent question of the earlier asked question which was which was uh, something related to the bean and how we can get the you get like use the bean okay so so let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this question and what will be the answer of this question the next question will be uh, you have this qualifier annotation for primary annotation so i don't understand what uh, what is this question uh, like all about it's not clear and if you have any idea you can comment down below okay and the next question is do you know what is the circuit breaker design pattern so circuit breaker design pattern is used in microservices so whenever any microservices any microservice is failing uh, you can continue operating that uh, like uh, whenever it fails and it will prevent the further failure the further cascading failure because it will break the circuit means it will stop the request and response process if the uh, if the particular service is not working so it is very similar to the circuit breaker which we have in the uh, our house and if like in our house uh, like when electricity is uh, uh, not working properly the circuit will trip so it will it's a it's kind of a electrical switch which operate automatically to protect the electronic circuit from damages done by overload or by short circuit so the main purpose is to stop current flow when when it uh, it like feels there is any defect or anything so what you can do you can tell uh, that circuit breaker design pattern is used to stop the request and response process if a service is not uh, working okay so for like uh, for example uh, assume a consumer sends a request to get data from the multiple services but one service is unavailable due to some technical issue so like uh, there will be uh, 
two scenarios when the service will be not available first because of the consumer will be unaware that particular service is unavailable so the request will be sent to the service continuously and the second issue will be network resource will be exhausted and with the low performance and user experience so in that case you can use circuit breaker design pattern to avoid such issue and the consumer will use this pattern to invoke a remote service using a proxy and this proxy will behave uh, like a circuit barrier okay and hystrix is a design pattern like uh, sorry hystrix is a uh, uh framework which you will use as uh, to you to leverage the circuit breaker design pattern and there are there are various other things as well like fallback method and how we write fallback method so i will cover in the next question and the next question is uh, the next question is how we define how we define uh, fallback method suppose you have to write fallback method so how do you define that do you have to use some annotations here like uh, first of all what is fallback method in microservices fallback method is something so suppose if your microservice is failing so in that case fallback method is something that uh, when microservice fails uh, like whatever the default response you want to give to the uh, like uh, caller or the requester so th this will be written inside inside that fallback method okay it is kind of a dummy method which we want to write uh, like uh, whenever uh, the actual method of microservices uh, is throwing some exception continuously then uh, to avoid the ex uh, like uh, then we avoid execution of the ex actual logic for some time and instead we redirect the request to a dummy method that provides the response back to the client request such dummy method is called a fallback method this method can provide dummy response such as uh, like service is not working and you are unable to process so uh, unable to process for some time try after some time so these kind of a message you you can uh, send to the uh, as a response to the end user which which is calling continuously so these are the fallback methods and in the case of uh, while writing the fallback method there are some annotations we have to use there are some annotations like hystrix command is there so hystrix command and then hystrix property so these kind of uh, annotation you have to use and you have to give the default property which you gonna use in that uh, like a uh, project it, it will be it will depend project to project okay and now we have another question now here we have another question which is what is service discovery so service discovery is a pattern service discovery is a design pattern which is used to find to identify the other services which are available in the microservice environment so in the service discovery what you do like uh, to leverage the service discovery we have a framework which we which we call uh, eureka so eureka is used to like uh, achieve the service discovery so uh, what you do you create a eureka server so your one service will be eureka server you use enable eureka uh, server annotation with that on the application level and all other services will be treated as a client services and there you will give like uh, for every application you will give the application name also so what this eureka server will do eureka server will uh, re register all other application as a eureka client and whenever some application or some service want to call some other service it will go to the eureka server and get the particular url which you want to call for that and then use that uh, can use that to call that service it can use rest template or it can use web client further okay so the next question we have is what is zool okay so now if i talk about zool zool is another way like uh, another api gateway application uh, so which is used to handle like uh, to receive incoming calls and to send in uh, outgoing calls for a microservice environment okay so in this uh, in this video i am just touching the surface there are multiple things which are available about the zool so whenever like uh, you want to answer this question please refer those videos or wo those uh, blogs read about them read about zool so that you can answer this question perfectly all right uh, now uh, 
दिस वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी वेरी लॉन्ग एंड वी हैव डिस्कस मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन इन दिस वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस मोर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई गेट दोज आई गॉट दोज क्वेश्चन फॉर टू डिफरेंट इंटरव्यूज दैट्स वाई द इंटर द क्वेश्चन लिस्ट इज वेरी लॉन्ग एंड मेक श्योर लाइक यू वॉच द अदर वीडियो एज वेल and you will get the idea how you can answer the question how you can prepare for the interviews so make sure you like my other uh, like other videos and watch my other videos and subscribe the other channel as well thank you so much for watching till the very end i will see you in the next video till then bye bye